Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Today I am filming another empties. The last one I filmed was at the beginning of the year and I think it was like an accumulation of empties from the last year. I don't really want to do it like that this year I don't think. I think they're going to be quarterly. So this is for the first three months of the year. I like the idea of like getting rid of my empties otherwise this basket it starts to really overflow it also means that i've used these products relatively recently it's really hard to talk about a product that you, that you finished a whole year ago uh, this year i'm really trying to use up products because i think inevitably because of instagram and youtube and the fact that i try so many products it just means i typically end up starting a lot a lot of products and half finishing them and this year that's not what i want to do i really want to make an effort to finish everything but before we get started, hi, I am Sabrina. If you're new here, I largely post fashion and beauty content on here, but I do sometimes post other things. In particular, I post grocery hauls every now and then, and I really am enjoying doing those. But if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, do hit the little subscribe button because I upload a video every Thursday. But let's get started with the empties. I have just my skincare in here. So I was trying to like organise things a little bit. Cleansers are a great place for me to start because I love a cleanser. There's nothing better than a balm cleanser to like massage your face, especially at the moment. I don't know if any of you are suffering from hay fever, but my hay fever is wild at the moment. Um, I'm really sore here and even in my jaw. I feel like my face just gets really swollen and then I get tired and sleepy and I just don't feel great today because of hay fever and I've been like this probably for about a week now. It was bad back in February, but it's getting bad again. I really enjoy the ritual cleanse of my face. It's definitely the product I use the most. I pretty much cleanse my face at least once a day, sometimes twice, but I generally I am a once a day cleanser. I don't always cleanse in the morning. I have dry or dehydrated skin, so I don't find that that's something I really need to do unless I've put like fake tan on my face. Let's get started with the cleansers. I have four to talk about, three balms and one cream cleanser. And I think they're probably all products I've spoken about previously. This is the Omavitska Thermal Cleansing Balm. Um, this is only like a tiny 15 gram one. I'm assuming this came in some sort of like Christmas gift set at some point or like some sort of like starter set. I really love Omavitska. I think it is a fabulous brand. It is expensive. It's not wildly expensive typically, but it's definitely um, not like a drugstore price point. But everything, I, everything I've tried from them, I have really, really liked. And this is, I really do think my favorite cleanser of all time. I don't typically use it that often because I find that I have to try other stuff. I think um, what makes an elite cleanser elite is everything from like the packaging. Like, this is a glass jar, and obviously this is a small version, but the other one comes in a big version too. I, I like the smell. It's not typically a traditional kind of cleanser smell. Not dissimilar. It's definitely like a spa-ish scent. There are more like stereotypical cleanser scents. And it just does a really great job of removing your makeup without being too greasy. Like it's still easy to remove off your skin. It is black, which I... I think I quite enjoy it. I quite like the fact that you like apply something that make the and you can like visibly tell that you're removing your makeup. It does leave flannels with like a dark colour, I guess. But honestly, I love this. It is expensive. Um I don't think you need this, but if you're looking for a really, really nice luxury cleanser, I would recommend this. I remember there was a time where I used just this cleanser for months on end. My skin was great, basically, and I think that's part of the reason why I really, really like this cleanser. I do think you are washing it off, so maybe, I don't think you need to invest in balm cleansers is what I'm saying, but if you want to, this is a really, really nice one to invest in. Another one that I've used is the Emma Hardy Moringa Cleansing Balm. This though, compared to this, like, the, the Thermal Cleansing Balm by Omavitsko just feels that like, little bit more natural, but like, the scent is more gentle, whereas the M Emma Hardy it does kind of have, in my opinion, more of an artificial smell. Again, I do I do like it. I think it does a good job. I would definitely use it again. I think it's slightly more affordable than the Omavitska. So probably if I was buying it, typically I would probably go for the slightly cheaper one. But even like packaging wise, you can tell it's just cheaper. It's just like a plastic tub. It's fine, but I think the Omavitska is just like a little bit more special in my opinion. But the other cleanser I've been using is the Beauty Pie Plantastic. This is the most affordable out of the three of them. I do like this cleanser. I think it's good. I don't find this very easy to remove, but I feel like I have to be very careful because I do find that I break out if I leave a little bit of this on my skin. For the price point, I would definitely recommend trying this. And this is probably one of the better affordable balm cleansers I've tried. Because the other one that people recommend a lot is the Clinique Take the Day Off, which I think isn't cheap, but it's still, it, for a balm cleanser, it's a good price. Really breaks me out. And then also the Body Shop one. People swear by it. But again, really breaks me out. I think it's called the Chamomile Cleansing Balm. This one though, 
doesn't typically i have to be a little bit careful i don't find it as easy to remove as the other products as the other cleansers i've spoken about but definitely still a great cleanser again does kind of have a more artificial smell than the omavitska but it is a nourishing deep cleansing purify purifying with cold pressed rosehip oil and vitamin e cleanser and beauty pie generally just great i really love the premise of beauty pie and then finally a product which i actually recommend a lot but i don't love it is the cerave cerave hydrating cleanser i think this is about 12 pounds it's really quite affordable um cerave is a brand i really really like i recommend it to a lot of people but i didn't love this cleanser i know they call it a hydrating cleanser but for me it's just not hydrating enough occasionally i will use this if i use something like the beauty pie and i just want a second cleanse to remove that cleanser i think it works really really well for most people i don't think it's hydrating i think calling it hydrating is a push i just don't think it's as drying as other cleansers i, I think it works for a lot of people but for me, I don't really have a use for it. It's not really not a product I reach for. There isn't something else that I prefer to this. I just don't love second cleansers, to be honest. I think for me, I just, I just love a balm. But if you are looking for like a reasonably priced um, morning cleanser, if you have normal skin, or you know what, I think even if you've got like slightly oily, I think this might work because I have dry dehydrated skin. And I just find this too dry and dehydrating, even though it's for normal to dry skin. So carrying on, I have two spritz. I am really enjoying spritz. I think they're great to add hydration. I apply these after my after cleansing and then before I apply my the rest of my skincare. And I find that it helps lock in moisture. This is the Queen of Hungry Evening Mist. And then I also have the um, Emma Hardy Plump and Glow Hydrating Facial Mist. Both of these are great. I just think... I would go for whatever's more affordable because they are quite expensive really great lovely product to use again love both brands i don't think quite worth the price point and i think you can get hydrating mist from other brands that are just as good those are great but like i said just they're just a little bit expensive in my opinion and then these from uh, kate somerville and these are the hydrocate these i think are new they are expensive um, not wildly but they're definitely like a lux more luxury price point i have the recharging water cream and then also the recharging serum i loved both i got through these really really quickly i did enjoy them i did find that i had to use a fair amount i do have typically more dehydrated skin i don't have a bad thing to say about these i really don't equally i'm aware that 65 pounds for each is quite expensive i probably wouldn't spend my own money on these if i'm honest but I really, really enjoyed using them. I just think, like, in order for me to spend over fifty pounds on a product, you have to really wow me. And these are really, these are great. But I don't know if they're like, wow, nothing else will do great. Something I really love using is vitamin C. I have two vitamin C products here. This is the Dr. Dennis Gross C Plus Collagen Deep Cream. I liked this again. I think I don't like it enough to warrant the price point, but it is a great product um i find that sometimes vitamin c kind of go off a bit quickly and i think that's something that you have to bear in mind there's really no point buying like four different vitamin c products because they're probably going to go off before you've had time to finish them which is my biggest like issue with vitamin c this one actually like i had no issues i finished it i really really enjoyed using this again this is expensive would i be tempted to buy this one almost but not quite i don't think if you are looking for a hydrating vitamin c i think this is a great one to go for but then a product i would buy and actually initially i was a bit unsure about it because i f i find that i need a fair amount of this um but this is the vitamin c glow reviving serum from the body shop this is affordable as far as skincare goes i would say um i do use a fair bit of it but i really really like it if i apply enough i find that my skin just looks like really glowy and my makeup applies a little bit better over it definitely one i would by myself the only thing i would say is that it is in a um somewhat clear uh, bottle i don't love them in slightly clear bottles it's a darkened bottle but it's definitely um can i see through it i can see like where the light is and where it's not so light is definitely getting in there is what i'm saying but this is one one i really enjoyed one i would repurchase but i just think if you are going to use this you're going to have to get through it quite quickly i probably wouldn't recommend like using it leaving it for a year and then going back to it which i find that sometimes like sometimes that happens something else comes along and i get more excited about it but really enjoyed using this and would definitely repurchase it because i think i think it is like a somewhat affordable price point and then the final vitamin c product is this by cordelier which is their brightening eye cream i really 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 liked this 
I was like going through this basket before I sat down to do this video and I was like oh my god there's still so much product in here and I applied a little bit to my hand but I, I think the reason I got rid of it is because it just has a funny smell maybe it's because it is a vitamin c maybe it has just gone off but it just smells like dust I know that sounds weird because it doesn't have like a bad smell and who knows like maybe that is the smell of this but I, I doubt it I think maybe this wasn't the most stable vitamin C. Um, I'm just not comfortable putting this around my eyes at the moment. Um, but you know what, I, I think I actually might repurchase this because I did really, really enjoy this. Um, I like a vitamin C around the eye. There's not loads around, there's a lots of like vitamin C serums and stuff, but eye creams I find, I don't know, they're a little bit harder to come by and I really enjoyed this. I might repurchase this, but I'm aware that if I do repurchase it, I need to get through it quickly and I can't just have it on the side for six months. But to be honest, I haven't had this that long. This says that it lasts nine months. I don't believe I've had this nine months. Maybe close to, but not quite. And I I, I think I stopped using this because I, I felt because I found the smell bit off um, about four months ago. So that's not the greatest sign. Another eye cream is this one from Tata Harper. This is the Super Kind Bio Barrier Eye Cream. I'm also going to put out the Tata Harper Beautifying Face Oil. Both really lovely. Just wildly, wildly, wildly expensive. I think these are well in excess of £100. I personally just can't justify that is what I'm saying. I like them. I love their blushes though. I have their blusher on today. I wear their blushes every single day. And I think that is wildly expensive too. But... I actually think I would repurchase it. I love it that much. But these, just not quite. Um, I just think there's similar products that do very similar things. I found this eye cream quite hydrating, which is great. This oil was, was just, just fine, I think. It was a little bit greasier than a lot of the other oils I have, but I did enjoy using it. I clearly wanted to get the most of this eye cream, so I, I even opened it up. I wouldn't pay over £100 for these, even though I really liked it. Then I have the Aveeno Karma Restore Triple Oat serum really like this This is for normal to dry skin again that's me i would say there's a tiny bit left of this but i think i've pretty much finished i've reached that point where i'm really trying to get it out but it's not quite coming it is great for more sensitive skins i think and it's just a really lovely like light hydrating cream i i use this to lay it under other products and i've really been enjoying this avino great brand really affordable would definitely repurchase this i think it's just a great addition to help skin stay hydrated and then finally in terms of skincare i believe is my elizabeth arden advanced night repair i think this is almost 70 pounds this is expensive but i really really enjoy using this it's a product i've had for a long time um i think it's definitely a product to keep an eye out for during like black friday or like any sort of sales amazon qvc those sort of places always have great deals on products like this a real real cult product i would probably pay about 50 pounds for this anything over that i think is pushing it a little bit i do really like it i don't know if i like it almost a little bit because it's a cult product but i do think it works if I, whenever i apply this the next morning my skin is looking hydrated and healthy this little bottle lasts me quite a while and i do think it's a cult product for a reason now on to hair i am really trying to get through hair products i brought like a huge bag of half used hair products from my mum's house which um had been there for a little while and i'm trying to get through them just like find products that i really love and stick to those we will start with dry shampoos i've done that really annoying thing where i feel like i've got like 15 different dry shampoos opened uh, just not finished which uh, i don't know how it happened really annoying i don't want to be that person anymore uh, but I think that that has happened. So I've only finished two dry shampoos, and these were ones that had already that I'd already started. And um, I feel like because these are slightly more expensive, I end up like trying to save them. But I, it's just stupid. I just want things gone this year, so I'm really trying to use use things up, even if they are slightly a fancier product. These are the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoos. A really great dry shampoo. It doesn't coat the hair as much as the batiste dry shampoo does but i find it still um, absorbs oils which not all dry shampoos do as well as the batiste this one i find does do that i really really like this it is expensive i would pay the price for this i think i probably would have it along with the batiste dry shampoo and um, just because of the price i don't think i would just use this um, but i do really like it and if you are looking for a great dry shampoo i think this might be the best um, but I love Batiste because of the price. And then, honestly, when it comes to shampoo and conditioner, I really haven't used anything exciting. And I really feel like I need to find a good shampoo and conditioner because I haven't used one in ages. So if you have got a shampoo and conditioner that you really love, I have, like, fine coloured hair. And I just want I just want something that will, like, keep it clean and add a little bit of volume. Um, but I tried the Biotin Boost Thickening Conditioner. 
it was okay i didn't love it i really don't have much to say about it um i did find i actually found it was a slightly heavy for my hair and considering it is a thickening shampoo which i guess is typically designed for finer hair like me i i wouldn't repurchase this i don't think i actually do think i bought another bottle of this i would use it but i'm not in a rush to use it if i'm honest and then um head and shoulders derma pro uh, quench hydration shampoo and conditioner this is only the conditioner i think the shampoo we still have a little bit of it left this isn't really for my hair type but it was fine my, michael has thicker hair than i do um and he really liked this but i it was fine um and then from chloran this is again for dry hair i know i don't have dry hair basically what happens is brand send me these they go in my um bathroom and then i just start using them even though they're not designed for my hair so i feel like i can't even really offer a good opinion on them i liked this it was hydrating for my hair it wasn't too hydrating i don't think that my like scalp ended up really oily or anything like that it didn't wow me my hair was just still still average and then finally onto body i don't really have that many body products to talk about because i am rubbish at creaming my body so there's only body washes and exfoliators two deodorants i bought a multi-pack of um, sure quick dry cool blue deodorants off amazon i am very happy i've done that just because now i have like deodorant everywhere i need one in the house and it just makes my life easier and then i have some backups um and it's a great it's a great deodorant i'm not the sweatiest person ever i can't like comment too much on that i have to try out those like wild deodorants or something a bit more natural even if it's one that you like apply with your hand i think i'd be totally okay with that so again if you have any recommendations on more natural deodorants do let me know but the other deodorant i finished which i started before i bought the multi-pack of deodorants is the little invisible 48 hour antiperspirant again great i would definitely use this again if you are on a budget and this is cheaper i don't know how much cheaper this is but if it is i would i would definitely buy this it was a great deodorant like every other deodorant i've ever used i feel like it's very very rare that i find a deodorant that i actually dislike okay well first up with um soap and glory i'm a huge soap and glory fan recently i fit i finished scrub of your life body scrub and then also um the peach please body wash i've mentioned this body scrub a hundred times before it's a good soap and glory body scrub it's not the best one the best one i think is breakfast scrub but this one this one is fine it came in a little gift set and it's definitely one that um that i like and would consider buying but i would go for the breakfast scrub before i went for this one and then this is the beach please body wash which is one of their newer scents and it says it's limited edition it's a nice like summery scent it's just a body wash again most body washes are, are great i think i rarely find a body wash that i hate or one that i really really love and um, i've definitely used that again i would consider buying it again but i'm not in a rush to go out and buy it and then um i finished the soft delicates foamy body wash but this, this is from beauty laundrette i don't know what the price is on this but i personally would probably go for the soap and glory over this because i like the soap and glory smell um packaging wise i don't love this because it's like a foam um there we go there's a tiny bit left i don't know i don't really like foams as much as i like i like a wash like a, a gel but this one says it's for sensitive skin i don't have sensitive skin so i can't comment too much on that but if you do then this one might be worth considering and then after i said i really love a body wash i have really i really really liked the body shop shower gel in wild pine i'm actually not even certain that this is this christmas's one but i think it is it's just smell incredible i thoroughly enjoyed using this it's pine mint and sandalwood and i would definitely consider buying this even if it is a little bit more expensive it was just a joy to use and i i think you'll struggle to find me calling any other body wash shower gel a joy to use but this really was i think and that's the end of today's empties i really hope you enjoyed it um, I, i'm hoping it wasn't too long but do let me know if you have any recommendations or products that i might like using thank you so much for watching um i will be back next week thursday um like this video if you enjoyed it subscribe if you haven't subscribed and i will see you then bye